has a, a very broad legacy. We, it's, a, it's a very ambitious project and in that sense we are quite proud to say that it, it leaves quite a substantial uh, legacy. We created tools that are now open source that cities can replicate and use uh, in their own transition towards circular economy. I see Reflow as a fantastic example of how you can work in a transdisciplinary way or cross-disciplinary way. I think it's the right way to solve complicated problems and that's really what, uh, what uh, Reflow has done. We've developed methods, processes, toolkits that we've managed to actually try, pilot, implement in different cities with different contexts and Retrospectively, we've learned also from implementing those concepts and approaches and methods and got a better understanding on how to actually accelerate the transition to circular economy in cities. Currently, we are looking into the possibilities to open a textile innovation lab inside the city of Amsterdam that will definitely use the research and knowledge gathered from Reflow and also continue to grow the community that we brought together during this project. Now the next step is like how this then create opportunities for everyone and create business model as well. This is actually what we develop in Reflow that could be used by the cities. We are really stepping into the distributed systems and decentralized systems world. We have new pilots in, uh, in Europe that are asking us, even beyond the Reflow project, to really adapt the system to their situation. And this is uh, easy and possible and we can even allow them to appropriate this technology because it's free and open source. We are undergoing a, a crisis related to, to energy that comes from many directions. So um, we have discovered and learned even more than we knew at the beginning of the project how important this sector is and how important this uh, nexus between um, energy transition, green uh, transitions and innovation. We are deviating quite a little bit from the overall project kind of um, approach when it comes to outreach. We build a highly complex app which is particularly attractive to experts and through experts it has an impact on the, the civil society. The movement uh, that we created and the ambassadors that we've been working together with for the entire project are ready to take um, the learnings and the tools that we've been developing together with them and making it their own and um, and using them in their everyday practice. We track donations within the general market and within five days of activities, we basically tracked more than eight tons of food that could have been wasted otherwise. We gave technological tools to people that were not used to uh, this kind of technology. And to startups, we gave them uh, technologies that they couldn't afford. Uh, otherwise and, and they definitely couldn't develop by themselves. So we wanted to bring different competences together because this is the key to implement circular economy. Having grassroots organizations, fab labs, universities, research institutions, municipalities as well as small and medium-sized enterprises, uh, of course it's relevant because you have the key actors to implement sustainability. I hope external people who are outside of the project can actually learn something on how to engage cities in a circular economy, looking at it from different perspectives, whether it's about materials, products, technologies, business models or, or larger socio-technical transitions. Uh, there's a lot to learn from Reflow, so I hope, uh, I hope uh, future cities who are interested in learning about circular economy can engage from getting inspired from what has been uh, done in the last three years within Reflow.